and welcome back to our channel. So today I am baking cookies. I am baking my favorite cookies for Christmas time and that is ginger molasses cookies. If you have never tried ginger molasses cookies, you definitely have to try them. They are so good. They're so soft and ooey gooey. I love them. So I'm going to be making them today. We are going to a Christmas party for Robert's family. So I'm going to bring them and I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. First, we need a recipe to help me with that. Hey Google, show me a recipe for ginger molasses cookies. Here are some recipes I found. There are 10 ingredients. You can ask for the next ingredient or skip to the instructions. Skip to the instructions. There's 13 steps. I'll read them one by one. When you're ready to hear more, you can say, next step, first step, line two baking sheets with parchment paper. When I'm baking cookies, I actually like to use these. I got these at Costco that came in a group of three, but I think you can get them at like Target, Walmart. They're just like these silicone mats and they can be wash in the sink and the dishwasher and they just go right on top. They fit right on top of a baking sheet. And it's nice because it gives you like a little circle for your cookies so you know that they're evenly spaced. I really, really like these. They don't stick. They're great. Love them. Second step, whisk the flour, ginger, cinnamon, baking soda, cloves, and salt together in a medium bowl. Okay, before I get started, I'm actually going to pull my hair back so that we don't get any hair in the cookies. That would not be very appetizing. <laughs> okay, so the first ingredient is flour. I need two and a quarter cups, two teaspoons of ground ginger, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, and half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna whisk this all together. I love the smell of cloves. It smells so good. Speaking of festive, do you like my apron? I like it. So that's nice and whisked. Okay, Google, what's the next step? Beat the butter and sugar together in a large bowl with an electric mixer on medium high speed until well combined, about three minutes. Okay, so I'm going to put this attachment on to the mixer. I'm going to add one cup of sugar and one stick of butter at room temperature. Ooh, kind of messy. That's why we wear an apron. So I think that looks pretty well combined and actually that just woke up the baby. So I'm going to go get her out of bed and she can help us make the cookies. Say good morning. <laughs> hey, you can help mama with the cookies? Oh, yes, you are, you good, mama. Gotta figure out what the next step is. Yeah, I just finished combining the butter and the sugar. Let's see what's next. Hey, Google, next step. Add the molasses and egg and beat until lighter in color, about three minutes. I need to add the molasses and the egg. You think you can do it? Do you think so? Okay, let's get it ready. Okay, here we go. We need one egg. and one third cup molasses. It's what makes the cookies so soft and ooey gooey. Baby girl, I might have to put you down so I can get all of this molasses out. We don't want to waste. It smells like barbecue sauce. They actually do use molasses a lot in barbecue sauce. So you would never think that it would go in a cookie, but it is so good, I promise you. Now we just have to stir that up. flour mixture and mix on low until well blended. Now I'm going to add this mixture in and mix it all together. So the next step, and I like to use a spoon and scoop out the dough and then you're going to roll it into a ball and then roll that ball in some sugar. So I just have a small bowl here of sugar and then you place it on your baking tray. Just roll it into a ball, roll it in some sugar, put it on the tray. This is where those little circles come in handy. Are you telling everybody how to make a cookie? One tray done. Okay, and now I just put these in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. They still will be soft because they are a very soft cookie, but you're just looking for them to be golden brown. So 
So that is what they should look like, a little bit cracked on top. I think these have a little bit longer to go. Hey Google, set a timer for two minutes. All right, two minutes, starting now. So as you can see, these are like cracked and golden brown, so those are done. I'm just gonna let them cool a little bit and then I will be transferring them onto the wire rack so they can cool completely. And I have just put the others back in the oven for about two minutes. Guys, and just like that, the cookies are done and we are on our way to the party. Um, these are my absolute favorite cookies. If you guys have not tried ginger molasses cookies, I highly, highly recommend it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you try these cookies, take a picture and tag us on Instagram at Kaylin and Robert. We would love to see them. Let us know how they turned out. And we will see you guys next time. Bye!